Today's video is very chill. I am in my panda slippers. I can't be bothered today. Hi guys, it's Adria. Welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hello. My name is Adria Killen, as in killing this YouTube game. <laughs> there are too many puns for my name. Girl, you be killing them. I have a bomb last name. Okay, <laughs> for today's video, I thought I would do a personality test because I've seen other YouTubers doing these recently and so that got me thinking maybe I should give that a shot myself. So I think I'll do that. Is my, my emoji, she's falling over. Come on, girl. <sighs> So today I am going to be doing a personality test to make sure I'm not completely insane. I found this picture not too long ago of something I drew when I was in fifth grade. Uh, got me a little concerned. I might be a psychopath. <laughs> This was in a horror book I wrote for school. It was like a Halloween project. We had to write scary stories. It, but that's concerning. God. <laughs> Please don't let me go off the deep end. Let's take a personality test to see what kind of person I am because honestly, I'm curious. If I get anything that's like narcissist, psychopath, I will not upload this video. Disclaimer. <laughs> now maybe I will. I'm a psychopath. This 10 minute personality test will allow you to learn more about your strengths and discover how you can achieve fulfillment in your professional and romantic life. Good to know. Okay, so there's a little bar and you basically slide it if you agree or disagree with the question. Simple enough. I am the life of the party. Hmm, eh, I mean, oh, I slightly agree with that. Okay. I find it easy to make friends. Oh! way disagree. I mean, I always had friends at school. For the most part, people watching this that actually knew me and be like, no, you didn't, bitch. <laughs> I don't know. I was always the person that had new friends every year. I could never keep friends. I'm probably a terrible person. <laughs> uh, I have many friends. Slightly disagree. No, completely. I, I don't have a lot of friends. Maybe you guys consider me your friend and, you know, but I feel like that's kind of different. <sighs> This personality test about to tell me, girl, you're gonna turn into Dexter. You're gonna have little slides of blood, like, good luck, bye! Others would describe me as outgoing and friendly. I mean, friendly, yes, outgoing, no. I wish these were two separate questions, because I don't want to say I'm not a but. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I prefer to work with others. I don't. I don't like these answers, girl. Talking with others energizes me. Okay, I'll keep that in the middle, because sometimes, it depends on the people. Brandon, yeah, my mom, yeah, but the mailman, probably not. <laughs> others would describe me as a social butterfly. I prefer to communicate with others in a large group. Talking in a group of like two people that I don't know is terrifying. I'd rather talk to like a hundred people that I don't know. That's way less scary for some reason. The more I'm answering this, I'm like, girl, I don't even know if I want to know my results. I tend to think before I speak. I agree with that. I do. I didn't always do that. I find it difficult to meet new people. Yeah, I know you work for Apple support, but um, uh, what time do you get off tonight and do you want to hang out with me? Hello? After a stressful day, I need some time alone to relax. Agreed. Others would describe me as reserved and quiet. Agree. Finally, some agrees. I have few close friends rather than many friends. I prefer to work alone. Why do I feel like I already answered this? I often feel overwhelmed when many people are around. Oh, no idea. Oh my gosh. And I've heard other people say this before, but let me know in the comments if you can relate to this. Do you ever get like a social hangover? If I go to like a social gathering the next day, I'll feel just like drained and need time alone. Oh, the sun's too bright. <laughs> uh, too many people. I'm so lame and I've never even been hungover. I've only been like emotionally hungover. <laughs> I would rather make the right decision even if it means hurting someone else's feelings. Oof. I guess it kind of depends on what that decision is. Oh, you can answer these along with me, girl. Like, think about what you would say. Because when I feel strongly about something, I don't really want to just give in to it just for the sake of sparing somebody's feelings. As bad as that may sound. You know, if it's something that I'm really passionate about. Listen, I don't care what your feelings are. This is how I feel, girl. 
I, I agree with that. When someone has a problem, I start by offering advice rather than emotional support. It's kind of a peeve of mine. Sometimes if I'm like venting to somebody and they just immediately start telling me like what I should do. And I know they mean well. I think sometimes it's good to just kind of be that shoulder to cry on for someone if they're going through something rather than being like, well, I think you should do this. First of all, eight life hacks that'll change your life. It's like, can we talk about that later, please? <laughs> At the beginning of a meeting, I like to get started working right away. If I'm there, like, let's just get down to business. Let's get down to business. I'm not here to shoot the breeze. Like, let's just talk about what we gotta do and get it over with, get her done. I seek out feedback from others, even if I know it may be negative. It's a tough one because then you could bring YouTube into this, like, do you want the negative feedback? I guess, yeah, I guess sometimes. I guess it depends on the emotional state I'm in, because sometimes I really, like, I just, I don't even want to hear it. I'm like, girl, I'm gonna live and let live. Don't talk to me. <laughs> but no, it, uh, <laughs> I don't know. No, I'll agree to that. Let's just say I picked out like a new dress, like something out of my comfort zone, something I want to wear. If I go and ask somebody how I look in it, I want to know, like, legit, like how do I look in this? Do I look bad? Please tell me. Cause if I look bad, I'm not gonna buy it. Be brutally honest, okay? And I feel like I'm someone that I won't sugarcoat things if you really don't want me to. Sometimes I feel like people just don't do that. Especially like people you're dating or your parents, you know, they'll be like, oh, like you look good in everything. I'm proud of you no matter what. It's like, can you like, can you say something that may or may not hurt my feelings? <laughs> I worry that others may view me as reserved and cold. Agree. I've never resonated with something so much in my life. This is just my entire life and I feel like when I was younger I didn't really realize I was doing it. So then when I got older and people started to think I was a bitch or that I was mean, I was stuck up and I'm just so not that way. I'm just very kind of closed off and I'm shy. I have social anxiety. I'm weird. I feel like I'm going to say something stupid. So I just don't really talk and that can be misconstrued. So yes, I'm afraid I'm going to go off on tangents like I just did. I am more convinced by a logical explanation rather than an emotional appeal. A thousand percent agree with that. Especially as someone that deals with mental issues, I'd rather just something be like facts, like here are the facts, here's how it is, because I feel like sometimes emotions can really get in the way of our opinions and how we feel and the choices we make. When I'm gonna make a choice, what choice do I make based not on emotion, if that makes sense. Others would describe me as logical and analytical. Uh, Others would describe me as annoying. No, I, maybe? I'll keep that in the middle. I do not let my emotions get in the way of my decisions. Oh, I was just talking about that. I think sometimes I do, but I'll keep that in the middle because I feel like sometimes I do because I'm a girl. And this lighting in here is so weird. I wanted to open my blinds, but I live too close to other people. <laughs> when others are sad, I get sad. Agreed, I don't, I don't like it when people are sad. To me, building relationships is critical in the workplace. Yeah, I'll agree with that because I feel like if you don't at least just get along with people, you're gonna have a miserable time. I often react emotionally to feedback. Half and half there. I worry that others may view me as mushy and over emotional. Agree. I feel like I'm a good amount of emotional, but I don't feel like I'm over the top emotional. But I've had people be like, she cries too much. And you're like, I don't know, that sort of thing. And I'm just like, I really don't feel like I do. I feel like sometimes that's all people see. I try to keep it together. Compassion is more important to me than fairness. Oh, that's hard. Oh, that's hard. What do I pick? I don't... Compassion is more important to me than fairness. I, I mean, I guess so. You know, life's not fair. Others would describe me as compassionate and empathetic. Uh, I agree to that. I am traditional. I instantly pictured myself in like a sapia filter with like a bonnet on my head. Like, meh, eh, I'm in the middle there, probably kind of a little. When faced with a problem, I focus on solving the problem efficiently. Agree. I would prefer to take a practical class rather than a theoretical class. Yeah, I'd want something practical. I wouldn't want to take a class in something that I would never use. The theory of life on Pluto, it's like, what you're Excuse me? I am very observant. I would agree to that. I'm like creepy observant. I like notice when people move things in a different spot. I am very detail oriented. Can I be like a thousand percent agree? I'm probably the most detail oriented person you will ever meet. Oh, I'm almost done. I'm very imaginative. Agree. I'm unconventional. 
I'm thinking about the stuff I post on Snapchat, and yeah, I would, I'm a, I'm a tad unconventional. I often get wrapped up in my own thoughts and forget about what's going on around me. Oh. I wish I could just shut my brain off, be like, bye, delete, can I block my brain? <laughs> I have great ideas, but they are often not realistic. I, I agree to that a little bit. I like to think big, even if my ideas are not always feasible. I think so. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Uncertainty makes me anxious. <laughs> You have no idea. If I knew exactly how my life would play out, I'd be copacetic, bro, but like the fact that I don't know where my life is gonna go just freaks me out. And you would think I'd be like taking steps to make a better future, but like every day passes and I'm like, wow, I've been playing The Sims for five hours. I plan ahead so I have no problem meeting deadlines. I somewhat agree to that. I get a little lazy sometimes. Others would describe me as organized and methodical. Meth method. Mathematical. <laughs> I, I would at least like to think that they do. I am almost never late. I, I, I was born on my due date, girl. Your girl has never been late. I am adaptable. Somewhat disagree to that. I'm a creature of habit. Breaking the habit. I'm not one that does that. I take frequent bleep. I mm, No. It's time to view my results. Ah! Oh wait. Oh, okay, I got ISFJ, 80% introverted, thought-oriented, reserved, reflective, observant, 19% feeling, empathetic, accepting, warm, values, harmony, 55% judging, organized, systematic, achievement-oriented, planner, oh, that is your girl, <laughs> and 6% sensing, traditional, realistic, practical, detail-oriented, oh my gosh. ISFJs make up about 12% of the population. We are conflict avoidant, warm, supportive, and friendly, willing to please others, practical, thorough, and consistent, organized, and responsible. Okay, oh, well, I mean, it didn't tell me that I was a sociopath or that I was gonna become Dexter, so that's good. I feel like that would be a different kind of test, though. Am I a sociopath quiz? Naturally practical, dependable, and flexible when interacting with others. They are warm, kind-hearted, and generous. They enjoy nothing more than spending time with friends and family. They are accepting of others, but often hold grudges against those who have wronged them in the past. I try not to, but I feel like I do. They have the ability to develop strong bonds with others very quickly. They also have have the ability to connect with animals and children easily. Kind of disagree with that. I don't connect with children very well. Mm, maybe I would if I tried. Most people are afraid of spiders or heights. I'm afraid of small children. <laughs> Often seek out the opinions of others, but may have a hard time accepting criticism. Mm? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. So that was really interesting and cool. I don't know if you guys have ever done a personality test, but I highly recommend it if you haven't. I feel like I just learned a bit about myself. I kind of understand why I am the way that I am now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below anything. What did you eat for breakfast today? Something. <laughs> and if you want, you can find me on all my social media. All of that is down below. What do you want for Christmas? I want the Jeffree Star Holiday Collection. Bitch. I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, pan hugs. I love you guys. Bye. my toilet's busted. I don't even know. Why? Why?